So Analysis for Innovators is a programme developed by Innovate UK and NPL um, designed to help companies on their journey from idea to commercialisation and to help move the barriers that they face on that route by allowing them access to the world leading capability here at NPL, particularly the scientists and engineers we have at NPL and the facilities we also have here. We're a company based in Hampshire and we specialise in the development of immunoassays which are blood tests used for the diagnosis of diseases. These assays use labelled antibodies which is something we make a lot of here at Fleet. We have a problem when we make these labelled antibodies knowing whether they're going to work or not and it would be great for us to have a test which would tell us whether they were going to work in the assay or not. When we looked into the analysis for innovators scheme we found that we could do a suitable short project that was fully funded and that really appealed to us. Because this was a three month project, it was really important that we got moving quickly. We explained our problem statement to NML and NPL and they were both very quick to understand what we needed and to recommend relevant techniques for us to examine. We collaborated very closely with both the other parties to make sure that we achieved the project goals. Fleet scientists, they are very friendly and knowledgeable in their fields, so this allowed me to ask them questions and tailor experiments to suit their needs. So they approached us to probe a fast and cost-effective technique to predict the performance of their bioconjugates before they actually put that into a test. Out of all the available in-house methods, circular dichroism turned out to be the best technique that we could use to predict the performance of their bioconjugates. Circular dichroism was a polarised spectroscopic technique which is sensitive to subtle structural changes of protein molecules. So by increasing the temperature, circular dichroism will be able to tell us how stable the protein conjugates would be. So this is how we are predicting the performance of their bioconjugates before they actually put that into a test. In a three month project it was always going to be ambitious to get success on our project aims and we were very pleased finding one promising technique. This allowed us to make an application for a round four analysis for Innovators grant which has now been approved. As an SME it's very important for us to have good contacts and networking and this project was great for us in that respect. It gave us access to some new expert contacts at NPL that we didn't know before. Also, from a three-month project, we were quite surprised to find that we ended up with three posters presented at international meetings. That was certainly a good outcome from the project as far as we were concerned. 